Have you ever looked back at a company like Tesla and thought, how did I not see that coming? Because right now, there's another clean energy innovator quietly setting up for what could be one of the biggest comebacks of this decade, and barely anyone's talking about it. It's called EOS Energy Enterprises, with the ticker dollar E-O-S-E, -E. and while the market still treats it like a small cap gamble, it might just be one of the most underrated energy storage plays heading into 2026. This isn't your typical lithium battery company. EOS is building something different, something designed to power the grid of the future. EOS develops zinc-based battery systems, designed for long-duration energy storage. That means, instead of competing with Tesla's lithium-ion batteries for EVS, they're targeting the other side of the market, utilities, and renewable grid storage. As the world shifts towards solar and wind, there's a massive challenge. Intermittency, the sun doesn't always shine, and the wind doesn't always blow. That's where EO steps in, storing renewable power for hours, or even days at a time, and releasing releasing it when the grid needs it most. They call it the Znith battery, and it's built using materials that are non-toxic, non-flammable, and abundant. Zinc, bromine, and steel, not lithium, cobalt, or nickel. That's a huge differentiator because it means no supply chain bottlenecks, no rare earths, and no fire risks. Three of the biggest problems haunting lithium-ion batteries today. Now, here's where things get interesting. EOS has spent years refining its tech, working through R&D setbacks and production scaling issues. But in 2024 and 2025, something started to change. They completed their EOS Genesis factory in Pennsylvania, the company's first fully automated production line capable of scaling output dramatically. This isn't just about small pilot projects anymore. EOS is gearing up for gigawatt-scale manufacturing, targeting 8 gigawatt hours of annual capacity by the end of 2026. And here's the kicker. The company was conditionally approved for a $400 million loan from the U.S. Department of Energy to expand domestic battery manufacturing. That kind of government backing isn't just money, it's validation. The DOE doesn't hand out loans like that unless it sees both strategic importance and technical viability. So while the market still prices EOSE like a speculative microcap, the company is quietly securing its place in the U.S. energy infrastructure plan. The world is entering a massive energy storage boom. According to Bloomberg, NEF global demand for stationary storage will grow 15 times by 2030, and the U.S. will be one of the fastest growing markets. But here's the problem. Most of that demand can't be met with lithium-ion batteries alone. They're expensive, have safety issues, and degrade quickly over long durations. That's where EOS's zinc-based batteries could dominate. They're cheaper to produce, safer to deploy near communities, and last for 10,000-plus cycles with minimal degradation. This isn't about replacing lithium. It's about complementing it. Think of lithium for short-term power bursts and EOS for long-duration grid stability. And if the U.S. wants energy independence from foreign lithium supply chains, companies like EOSE are the homegrown solution. Now, let's talk numbers. In 2024, EOS reported over $68 million in backlog with $500 million in potential orders under negotiation. As of mid-2025, their project pipeline crossed 14 gigawatt hours. With partnerships across utilities, microgrids, and renewable developers in North America and Europe, their cost per kilowatt hour has dropped more than 50% since 2022, a key milestone for grid parity. On top of that, EOS is ramping toward positive gross margins by late 2025, driven by scaling efficiency and IRA tax credits for U.S.-made batteries. That's right. Under the Inflation Reduction Act, EOS earns up to $45 per kilowatt hour in manufacturing credits. That means federal policy literally rewards them for every battery they produce on U.S. soil. Here's the thing. EOS has been beaten down by skepticism for years. Short sellers targeted the stock, capital raises diluted shares, and early delays made investors impatient. 
But this is where asymmetric opportunity lives when the narrative shifts from unproven startup to profitable, federally-backed energy company, revaluations can happen fast. Right now, EOS trades at a fraction of the valuation of peers like Fluence Energy or STEM Inc. Dollar STEM, even though its tech could be more scalable and sustainable over the long term. Analysts from B. Riley and Cowan maintain buy ratings with price targets three to five times above current levels, citing EOS's growing project backlog and government support as key catalysts. Of course, no stock is without risk. EOS still has to execute flawlessly, scaling manufacturing, maintaining cash flow, and meeting DOE conditions for that loan. There's also competition risk from both lithium incumbents and new chemistries like sodium ion. And finally, financing dilution remains a possibility until the company reaches steady-state production. But here's the other side of that coin. The higher the risk, the higher the reward. If EOS delivers on its 2026 roadmap, it could transition from a small cap speculation to a core player in US energy infrastructure, valued in the billions. Think about where we are right now. AI data centers, EVS, smart grids, they all run on one thing electricity, and storing that energy efficiently and safely is becoming just as important as generating it. If lithium is the present, zinc is the future, and EOS is leading that charge, they're not just selling batteries, they're building the energy backbone of the clean economy. And with government funding, proven technology, and a path to profitability, EOSE might just be one of those rare setups where innovation meets timing. So, is EOS Energy Enterprises the next in phase or just another clean tech dream? If you believe the energy transition is real, that the world needs diverse, domestic storage solutions, and that the market always underprices early movers, then EOSE could be one of the most underrated stocks of 2026. Because the companies that power the future don't always start flashy, they start quietly. And EOS might just be that quiet revolution the market hasn't caught on to yet. If you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications because we're just getting started on uncovering the next generation of energy and AI infrastructure winners.